Hello, you're inside the Divas Den, and I wanted to do this especially for those of you who follow me on Facebook. Last night uh, in Charleston, South Carolina, I'm quite sure that all of you have heard about the shooting that took place in the historically black church there where nine people were shot. There were some survivors, and right now, uh, as reported by CNN, the suspect has been captured. And I wanted to bring the radio pastor onto uh, the Divas Den so he can share some words about it and also give a short prayer and tell you why this has touched so many because we look at the play, the church as a place of worship and a place of safety and most definitely the house of God. Hello, Pastor, how are you? I'm great, uh, Diva. God bless you and glad to be a part of uh, this this morning. Now give us your thoughts on this, and we also want you to give us a prayer. And uh, I'm quite sure there's some people who are a little bit uh, scared about going to church anymore because the doors of the church, as the pastor says, are always open, never locked. Exactly. But Diva, as, as this was unfolding and I was watching that, uh, my thoughts began to wonder, you know, this is some of the things that we have been talking about, you never can prepare for something of this nature to happen because you're not expecting that, but I preached a message not long ago that said expect the unexpected, exactly. so we have to expect the unexpected things. Uh, I heard one of the uh, 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 FBI, former FBI agents uh, that were on said that he received a Twitter that someone misunderstood what he was saying about he was saying he was trying to blame the church. No, he wasn't trying to blame the church. He was just saying that we need to be aware of our surroundings. Exactly. You know, he was, that's just like that's just like saying we as uh, radio announcers, uh, we have to be aware of who's in our circle because everybody that's in our circle don't mean us any good. And everybody that's uh, surrounded by us is not there for our labor. I mean, even the Lord said that when he was sitting at the table doing the Passover time, he said, one of you are going to... Uh, one of you are going to betray me. So he knew that. So we have to be aware of who's in our circle. But dealing with this, as, a, as this unfolding, it made me think about how the young man came in and he sat down for worship with my, But he came with the intentions on doing what he was going to do. And the only thing that I can say is that going forward, we have got to take necessary steps. We've got to prepare uh, for just about anything. You know, I mean, I know this is a place of worship. I keep hearing them talking about gun, guns into the church and all of that, but we have to be prepared to, to you know, for just about anything nowadays because things are happening all over. Exactly. Uh, do you have time to give us a short prayer? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, as we come now, God, we're asking you right now for healing for those who have been affected by this. Carolina, not only that, for the AME churches, period, God. We pray right now for togetherness. We thank you, God, for allowing the law enforcement people to come together uh, for this person to have been caught. Now, God, we pray for justice right now, God. And Lord, we pray for all the churches all over uh, Mississippi, Louisiana, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, all over. We pray for our buildings of worship, worship right now, God. We pray right now, God, that you would give us a heart and a mind to serve you. Not only that, God, but we're praying for protection and we're praying for safety. And God, we're putting this situation into your hands. And God, we know that you can handle it and you can fix it. God, we thank you for the deeper right now. God, continue to bless her, Brother Michael, Prince Michael. God, we pray for all of them. God, we pray for our Facebook friends who may be watching this and hearing this right now, God. Whatever their situation, whatever their problem, and whatever they're going through, that's true. For them. God, we want them to give it up to you right now. And we claim it all done. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. Well, Pastor, I thank you for that. And tell them where they can hear you every Sunday morning and where they can see you live. Amen. I'm at Rocky Mountain Missionary Baptist Church every first and third Sunday. That's in Paulding, Mississippi. And on the second and fourth Sundays, I am at Bethel Baptist Church where I serve at both churches senior pastor, and uh, every Sunday morning on 102.5 WJKX uh, in Laurel, Mississippi, and on iHeartRadio, we have 
have the thought of the day at 720, 940, and 1040. And uh, thank you, thanks for this. Well, Radio Pastor, thank you so much for that, and you have a blessed day, and we'll be in contact soon. Uh, yes, sir. God bless.